G'day folks. I'm just trying out the other camera at the moment because I uh, reboarded and modified this computer again. It's got a Asus mainboard in it now. Just the one out of the old HP and it seems to be working fine now. It's got new RAM and a better CPU in it. So I'm just installing stuff but I cannot find the drive or the Photo Fun Studio HD. I think it's 5.1 HD disc for this. And uh, yeah. That's a bit of a pain because this is my main camera, but I cannot get files off it without Photo Fun Studio, so I'm still working on that one. Stay tuned. Um, yeah, good stuff's coming. I've just got to find a uh, oh, maybe a download or something like that. It's not on Panasonic's website or anything like that. I'm going to have to go illegitimate or find another program that can. I'm going to also install Sony Vegas on this. This system's now running a Core 2 Duo. Um, E6400, I think it is, it's 6200 or 6400 processor, and it's a lot faster, 4 gig of RAM as, as the last one did, and uh, yeah, it's a good working PC again, because it was getting horribly slow and just crashing out again last time, I mean, I think I was overloading it, the programs and things I had running at the time was a bit much for the poor old Pentium D to handle, so that's all done. Uh, bits on the day we will come once I can do more video and empty the trailer of scrap metal But I'll finish the day we off fairly small soon um, Yeah, got some other goodies and things. Well, that's the old HP that I butchered And that's one of the IBM's I pulled the optical drive out of But I found these at the scrapyard today. They're like from a um, internet kiosk terminal splash proof and vandal proof keyboard with a um, trackball mouse. So there's two of them there. I'll find something to use them on. The manufacturer. Yeah, Storm's 2200 series keyboard and there's a little trackball module there. They're fairly rough and gritty so the trackballs need a bit of attention but they do work. I want to turn one into a um, mobile workstation with this PC and uh, have it out here so I can do live streams. I mean, I've got enough ethernet cable and stuff hanging down from the roof now. I could sit it over there somewhere and do a live live autopsy or something like that on a piece of hardware. But at the moment, it's just a matter of getting time to clean up. I mean, I worked all day today. I'm gonna to be working all day on Friday, making up money that I borrowed a little bit off my mum and went out and bought a car that I've wanted since I was a little kid, so. That's coming soon. Little white car's going to have another friend for a while. It's unregistered and past roadworthy, but they still, stupidly enough, they let it lapse and it just sat around. So it virtually needs nothing for roadworthy, but it's just a matter of paying the rego, the inspection, take it to RTA, get it inspected. So it's basically a grand gone straight on getting it all, all done like that. But there's very little needed for roadworthy on it. So you'll find out when it arrives. But yes, that car needs some more attention with the sawzall and a nine inch grinder. Now that the weather's cooled down and hopefully starts raining, we can get the nine inch grinder out and have some real fun. I'll cut up a car body. <laughs> Not that I haven't done that before, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. I hope, I really hope I find my CD or at least a uh, download or something, because uh, I need that camera working again. 